IDF, Intel's developer forum, kicks off with a virtual display of music. Using Curie, a tiny computer module that tracks movement, a drummer doesn't need actual drums. And a musician can play a virtual piano and cello at the same time. But Intel unveils something that blends the lines of reality even further, Project Alloy. Oh my gosh, I have hands. It's called merged reality, and it takes away the headset cord and eliminates the need for handheld controllers. Instead, you use your real hands in the virtual world. Alloy warns you if you're going to bump into real people or objects. Not only move around freely in the virtual world, but he was able to bring the real world into that virtual world where he used his hands or used the dollar to interact. And we can do that with almost any object, and we can flip that. We can take the virtual world into the real world. Now, frankly, it's a little confusing to have yet another term. We've got augmented reality and virtual reality, and, and Microsoft talks about mixed reality. Now we have merged reality. But the idea of what Intel did is interesting because what they're doing is taking a traditional virtual reality environment and now you can actually see your hands or see some nearby objects. Intel says Project Alloy will be available to its partners in the second half of 2017, so it won't be in the hands of consumers until at least 2018 or later. No word yet on the cost. Taking my time on my ride. The realities of autonomous driving also took center stage when Intel brought out BMW executive Elmar Frickenstein in a self-driving car. Despite recent accidents with Tesla cars on autopilot, Frickenstein says 2021 is the year people will be able to safely go to sleep while their vehicle drives on its own. Ideas from smaller developers are also a big part of the event, like the winner of Intel's greatest makers TV show, Grush, a gamified toothbrush, allows dentists to track how well patients are brushing and even put monsters in those trouble spots so kids can be sure to brush them away. CCTV, San Francisco.